Rob Sherrill, ABC News and the I-Team found that some of those less expensive weight loss drugs purchased online could be risky. After running lab tests on more than 10 samples purchased by ABC News, we found surprising results. We also found safer ways to save money. The demand is skyrocketing for weight loss drugs, many looking for lower prices when insurance does not cover the costs of brand names, which could be about $1,500 a month. Some people, experts say, could be gambling with their health online. You don't know exactly what you're getting. They're not always safe and they could cause issues. But Amaria Cage is saving a thousand dollars a month in what she believes is a safer way. I've lost the stubborn weight that I've wanted to lose. Cage has lost about 40 pounds in the last year and a half. She's taking what's known as a compounded weight loss drug. So show me how this works. All it has to do is just go into a little fatty area. It's a version of the commercial medications like Ozempic and Wagovi created by a licensed compounding pharmacy. She gets the shot in person at a local med spa with a doctor and nurse on staff. She is screened and the drug is prescribed and administered at Luxura Med Spa in the South Loop. If you go to your doctor um, and they can write a prescription, if your insurance is going to pay for it, that's great. Uh, but we're an uh, alternative to that. Uh, we screen you, we you know take your blood pressure, your labs, we make sure you're a good candidate. You can also ask your doctor to connect you with a trusted compounding pharmacy. But if you go to a med spa, make sure you are getting your compound from a licensed compounding pharmacy. And here's another reminder that buying online could pose risks. In our joint investigation, ABC News bought semaglutide and trisepatide weight loss drugs from three different sites, purchasing 11 samples. They were tested by a lab to see how much of the active ingredient each contained. Lab results show six had between 90 and 110 percent of the listed active ingredient, a range the lab says is accepted as an industry standard. One sample had none of the active ingredient listed on the label, and one site's medication was extremely inconsistent. Two of the vials had less than 90 percent of the listed active ingredients, while two others had more than 250 percent of the listed potency, which could lead to overdose symptoms like fainting, nausea, and pancreatitis. We shared the results with all three companies. One declined to comment. The other two haven't responded. I say use your own risk. Um, you know, unfortunately, I can't give you um, any medical advice if you're using something that I, I don't advocate for, um, I wouldn't use in my practice. In January, ABC7 spoke to Chicago and Mike Benson, who took a shot from this pen he bought from an unregulated supplier. He thought it was Ozempic. Instead, it was filled with insulin, which diabetics use to lower blood sugar. The room started to spin, and I couldn't, uh, I was helplessly uh, incapable of doing anything. So the first thing I thought to do was go lay down. Benson ended up in intensive care after having a seizure and going into a diabetic coma, but ER doctors saved his life. Thoughts that uh, this could be, you know, the, the end. Cage is comfortable getting the compounded drug from somewhere she trusts. And you trust what's going inside your body. I trust what's going inside my body, yes. Okay, whether you are getting a compounded drug or a brand name drug, make sure you are getting them through licensed pharmacies only. Rob Sherrill, if the price is too good to be true for a brand name in the convenient pen which measures the doses, mm -hmm. that is a huge warning sign if that price is way too cheap. But of course, a hot topic right now, so many people trying to get their hands on these drugs. It's expensive. Yeah. Yeah, Great very, information for red flags and advice. Yeah, for Thank sure. you for your in-depth reporting. We appreciate it so much. Well, you can always watch more of this story, the ABC News investigation, Shot in the Dark. It is available right now wherever you stream.